Hello guys and welcome to some more really short carol programming. I'll try to keep this episode fairly small like the past one, you know, don't want to make you waste your time too much. So uh, we have a little example here for this lesson where we're going to start looking at functions. The first function that we have here is turn around and it's going to make carol face the opposite way like you can see in the resulting world. If we press run she moves forward and then she turns around when if you call the function it makes her turn left twice which well basically makes her turn around <laughs> but let me add something here that I always like to add the function start function start is super important because it is the one function that you do not have to call so this is also me you know just cutting this from here and pasting it over there and yeah it's still gonna do pretty much the same thing so we have our functions and our start function that doesn't need to be called and I've already went over gone over this but basically functions is teaching Carol to do new stuff she cannot usually turn around she can usually just turn left so instead of turning left twice we're gonna make her turn around by writing basically an own command of our own but yet like any other command we still have to call it in the main function so let's continue into the second assignment and we're gonna have world pancakes so this is gonna be fairly easy let's start with our function start and then we're gonna start with the function what does it want us to call it? make pancakes So in the make pancakes function, what we're going to make Carol do is going to be put ball, put ball, and put ball. Oops. Wait, what did I press this here? Okay. So yeah, now whenever we call the function make pancakes, Carol is going to put down three balls. And what we first need to, to do is move once. So move. And then she's going to put the balls. Put ball. Oops, sorry. Make pancakes. Because we're trying to not repeat put a ball three times every time we want to do this. Then she's going to move again. And then make pancakes again. and then she's gonna move a third time and then wait make pancakes make pancakes make pancakes and then for the final move she is going to move so now we go into our world I press the run command she moves and she makes the pancakes ooh 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 Okay, let's let's review our code. Okay, let's try to debug this cuz she put all three of them in the same like right next to each other. So what is going on here is that when the put a ball function gets called she only moves once. Okay, okay. So she has to move twice. One put ball put ball one. Two. Okay, so here I would usually put move two every single time that she has to go from one point to the other. But instead, since we are already getting into functions, I'm just going to make a function called d step, ds and double, so double step. So in this function, I'm going to put down move, move. So whenever this function gets called, Carol will move twice. So. I'm going to put it here, D step. And then after that, she needs to do the same thing again. And after that, she needs to do the same thing a third time. So D step. Now, here we combine two functions to save 3 times 3, 9, 2 times 3, 6, 15 lines of code ish. <laughs> That's quite a lot. So if I press reset now and I run, the problem should be fixed. 
she moves twice, she makes the pancakes, then she moves twice again, makes more pancakes, and then, yeah, that last one wasn't necessary. She crashed into the wall. <laughs> Sorry, Carol. So now we press reset and we run again and it should be ready to go this time. Remember, debugging is going to be a good 60% of your time with any programming language. So now that we got this, let's go into the last assignment. So here, Flippy Carol's World. She is going to have to move twice and then like backflip and then move another two times and then do another backflip. So let's start with our start function. So once we press the start, yeah, once we have the start function, let's go up here and let's start with the important thing. Okay, the function backflip. Okay, they, they're not specifying anything, but I'm going to call it backflip. So what is going to happen in this backflip is that we need Carol to turn around f four times. Yeah, because three times says turning right. So four times would make her do the entire uh, 360 degrees. So she's going to have to turn left, turn left, turn left and turn left so now uh, okay yeah she has to move two times in between so since she has to move twice let's bring back our double step function from earlier move move and now we can call d step then we call backflip and we call D step again and then ooh wait D step backflip D step and then a last backflip. So now if I press run ooh Ooh I I, I added an extra uh, oop one second. Okay, so we're back. Uh I did a typo there. A single thing such as an extra A is going to ruin your code. So make sure to go back and check it for typos and stuff. So now we press run. She's going to move twice. She's going to do her backflip. Then she's going to move twice again. And then she will do her backflip yet again. And that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and that it helped you. And, well... Tomorrow, we're going to be looking at more debugging. So we're going to be debugging functions this time. So stay safe and stay coding. See ya.